future. And I saw some comments saying a real gentleman would ask if she was in a tight spot financially and do something to help her out and, and not deny her and her kids food. So okay, question, question. I want, I want all right, question. Because I'm gonna be that were saying things like, well, a real gentleman would help out if she's in such a tight spot. Before we talk about what a real gentleman would do, let's not forget what. This is such a total. Himself, if he does not have money to provide for his girlfriend, he needs to be working on himself and building. His girlfriend, y'all just you say, well, y'all just start talking. Like, what you mean, his girlfriend? He should not be talking to anybody if he's broke. He needs to be working on himself. Hey, what's good, everybody? Is he wrong for paying for her meal, but not for her kid's dinner? Now, first thing first, before I even click on play. Um, I just want to thank y'all, bro. I'll be going up with YouTube, bro. Be going up. You know, I, like I said, I ain't ever going to get discouraged by no numbers, bro. You feel me? I'm just going to keep going, keep working, bro. And like I said, the channel consists, if you didn't watch the live, but the channel consists of reactions. No, excuse me. My basketball. 1v1s telling my story you know documentaries things that all things of that nature reactions playing the ps2 game that's what i'm starting that's what i'm pushing so don't steal my idea and oh yeah the raw footage when i'm just talking about my i actually have a video coming with to with, 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 when i just be talking experience like stuff that i've experienced things like that in nature so we got the entertainment side we got the basketball side which is also part of the entertainment and we got the you know we got the the brain food side, you get what I'm saying? So we're gonna get right into this. Is he wrong for paying for her meal but not for her kids' dinner? I already have an opinion of this, but let's watch. Let's hear what the what, what the what the brother got to say. Team Jackson, what's happening? Was so good. With it. I posted this a couple of days. I'm part of Team Jackson. Scenario, there was good. But I'm still getting comments on it. You know, there are some people who agree with me, and then quite a few people who feel like because of my stance, now I officially hate women. So I want y'all to tell me what you think, man. Well, let's see what you got to say. It was from a guy named Eric Haynes, right? And he says, I recently went on a date with a nice woman. We had dinner, drinks, and a great conversation. As the waiter brought our oh, bill, not him? they asked me, could I buy two takeout dinners for her kids? I said no. Because I don't even know her kids. She had an attitude for the rest of the night. So I cut the date short. Question. Was I wrong for not buying her kids? I never met dinner. And was she asking for too much too soon? Now, I saw all kind of comments. Most of them saying stuff like, well, maybe she was just testing him. And if so, then that means. I hate when y'all like that is true. But at the same token, I hate when I hear that. I'm not going to lie to you. Hold on, let me, let's hear more. He failed. I saw other comments saying, well, that's the role that he wants to play in her life eventually. So, he, yeah, he was wrong for not buying her kids dinner. That's what he's supposed to do if that's what he's trying to You are a single mother. Whoever comments to that, I bet you you are a single mother. ...do in the future. And I saw some comments saying a real gentleman would ask if she was in a tight spot financially and do something to help her out and, and not deny her and her kids food. So Okay, question, question. I want, I want all right, question, because I'm going to be neutral with this. <clears throat> that's like, that's like, that's like... That's like, let, 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 damn, speak. Let's flip the role, bro. Let's say I'm on a date with this girl, and I got my two kids with her. First of all, if you got the kids with you, I ain't gonna lie. You should already know what time it is. Why are the kids even there, bro? For one. If the kids are gonna be there, you should already know what time it is. I ain't, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, the ladies gonna love hearing, love hearing me say this. If the kids is there, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe she asked it like the way she asked it, not asked, asked. You feel me? I got a list. I'm getting rid of it though, braces. You feel me? But the may it, it might have been the delivery, but honestly though, if the kids is there, you might like you don't have to obviously, but it's like and eh, the kids is there, like you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like you know what you're getting yourself into if the kids is there, honestly. So you should know that some type of like I ain't gonna lie. I don't know, but I'll get back to that. But let's say I'm in a date. And I got my um, I got my two kids. It's two kids, right? I, I could read two kids. Yeah, two takeout, two takeout uh dinners. So check this out. I'm on a date with my two kids, cause it's it's re let's reverse it, and let's say she paid for the date, and I'm saying, can you buy my kids something? Uh, is she gonna? Can, can 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 we ask the girl to buy? I would even want no girl doing that for one. If you do that, you're a weirdo. But so let's just say let's just say for the sake of argument, can can we ask? 
her to pay for the kids to, to pay for my kids meal can, can I do that without being looked at weird or or were her actually doing it you get she might actually do it. It's a lot of girl. It's a lot of no. It's a lot of no. It's a lot of good ladies out there. It's a lot of good females out there. I might, you know, it's not I, like I said. It's a lot of good. They might they might actually do it. But I'm just saying, like, let's reverse it though. You get me? I'm not even gonna do that. The fact that she's asking that, I wouldn't even do that. If my kids is there, I'm gonna take care of my kids' expenses. That's just how I'm going. For go for it let me just say this my stance is that no he's not wrong in fact i think the woman is very much so out of line for even asking him to provide for her kids and he's saying that it's too soon that insinuates this this, this is really early in the dating phase but i want y'all to peep how he handled the situation first off he said no he's not going for it secondly he ended the date whenever he realized that the woman that wanted him to provide for her kids got an attitude because he wouldn't and this just goes to show this is the reason why I'm not so particular on talking about all the things that we as men go through in dating and relationship situations, because if nothing else, we're really good at peeping red flags and bouncing whenever you bring us bullshit. Facts. That's one thing we're good at. We do not tolerate bullshit. You know, nah, 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 not bouncing or something. You feel me? I ain't gonna lie. Like not bounce. You might not bounce at the moment, but you, you might peep something and not bounce at the moment, but you keep it in the back of your head. Like, all right. That's why some, that's why a lot. See, this is, and this is messed up though. I'm, I'm not agreeing to this. It's kind of messed up because it's like you could peep something about, like I said, no disrespect to my to my female subscribers. You could peep something peep something with the girl, but you might not. You might try to me. I ain't gonna lie. Back then, I used to try to work through this. Work work through. It. I was retarded though. Not retarded, but I was more so just trying to see the good in every everything and everybody. And there's actually nothing wrong with that. So I, should, I take that back. I take that back actually. But certain things like you might see certain things like as far as somebody being you know too touchy or with somebody or just certain things you got to see if a dude sees it he might not cut you off right then and there but he gonna know how to deal with you now all right like i might still try to get something with this but, I, but it's not gonna go how i really wanted it to be like i ain't gonna i ain't gonna try to take you out no more i ain't gonna try to, i might i mean you might go get food up but i ain't gonna try to do this no more with you i'm not gonna try to take you out no more i'm not gonna try to you know, plan stuff with you no more. This is gonna be simple. You know, we at the crib. You know, we do. You know, we. You know, we get down. We get. You feel me? We do what we do. Use your brain. What I'm talking about. Uh, we're professional on here. So yeah, it's when you peep. When we peep the red flag, it's not. Oh, that's why I say when he said bounce. Not nah, that. A lot of them don't. We not gonna. Sometimes you you really should bounce, but it's not. Nah, you just gonna act accordingly after that. If that makes sense. But like, you don't see a lot of guys that are with these women who are perpetual cheaters, having side babies and all this, that, and the other, sticking it out, talking about everybody got flaws, a woman gonna be a woman, that's just what you're supposed to do in relationships, you go through things. No, whenever we pee bullshit, we bounce. So what does that mean for women? It doesn't mean you can't have, you know, flaws and make mistakes, but it does mean your margin for bullshit is slim to none. And this, in fact, is bullshit. And by the feedback, there are a lot of women who are more than willing to talk themselves out of what could be a damn good man. Like for the women saying, well, you know, maybe she was just testing him. Um, if she's testing him by doing this, then she failed. Because in the dating phase, you don't even know if he's qualified to be your partner. Much less if he's qualified to play a role in your kid's life that's not even his role. So by testing him this way, there's nothing wrong with wanting to know whether or not he can be a provider. But this is the wrong time and place. This is the dating phase. And all you did was position yourself. Bro, who is this guy? Oh my. Bro. I, I, we're on a date. You don't, we still feeling each other out. We still getting warm. It's like when you, you first walk in the gym. I, I, I got to get warmed up. Bro. I got to go get my shots in. I got to, you feel me? I don't get my shot. I'm still getting warm. Give me, pass me the ball. I'm getting warm now. Us on the date. We're still getting, we're warming up. You don't get, you, exactly what he just said. You don't know if I'm qualified to be with you. I don't know if you qualified to be with me. So why would I make a payment? Why would I make a payment? It's, and I think it's the way she asked too. If she didn't ask, I bet you he might have did it. It's when you ask that make me not want to do it. Like you ask, it's, it's when you ask the question that make them not want to do it. Oh, I'm not doing it no more. And when I see you about to get rid of it, hey, I got it. And that's when the independent women come in. No, 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 I got to use my kids. No, 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 All right, cool. Respect, respect, respect. But what he just said, everything, bro. Like, you can't. 
How, I, we don't even know if we're going to be together. I'm supposed to pay for your kids? I'm not saying, like, if me personally, if I see the kids there on a date, I won't reject it, but... I, wait, at this point in my life, I might. I'm not gonna lie. I'm only 20 years old. I don't know. Maybe when you're older, it's a different scenario. But like some people might not. Go, I'm, I'm just. I'm spitting venom on here. I'm just telling the truth, bro. Like I don't think the kids should be there, honestly. But people have situations they go through. That's cool, fine. But I already kind of. You should probably kind of know what time it is if the kids is there. But it's the way shit. Can you? Can you? What did it say? Can you buy? She, she, he said, my date asked me, could I buy two takeout dinners for her kids? And he said, no. That's bad. You're not supposed to. First of all, you're not supposed to act like that. It's like when you go, you got to know how to ask for stuff, bro. It's like when, you, when you're young and you try to go ask your mom for something. And, 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 and it's something you know, like, uh, she might not do it. But it's the way you ask. You got to have ways to ask for things. Like, this person clearly doesn't know how to give what she wants. As a user, or at least a woman who has horrible priorities because you out at PF Chang's while your kids at home hungry. Or for the women saying that's the role that he wants to play eventually in her life, so yeah, he was wrong. Imagine a guy using that logic. You know, saying, hey, you know, you want to be a wife, right? You want to be my wife, right? So that means you need to go ahead and give me the key to your house. You need to start cleaning my house. You need to go ahead and give me sex on the first night. You need to co sign for this car with me. What if a guy used that logic, talking about, oh, you, you know, that's the role you want to play? No, a guy's role, whenever he's still your dating interest, is to simply put forth con consistent effort and energy and interest and in letting you know that he's serious about getting to know you right. and facilitate those activities in which you two can get to know each other doing. Not to be a provider for your household. But last but not least, the women that were saying things like, well, a real gentleman would help out if she's in such a tight spot. Before we talk about what a real gentleman would do, let's not forget what it's a real gentleman would do. Hold on. This is such a tight spot. She shouldn't be on no date. Hold on. I'm going to play. Uh, hold on. Cause I remember when I was in uh, Washington, this girl I met out there, real cool. Like, I ain't going to lie. Like, real cool. Shout out to, I don't know if she subscribed to me, but shout out to you. She, what's it called? She made sure. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna put it on the screen, bro. I'm gonna put it on the screen. I'm gonna so I remember our conversation we had. I'm gonna put it on the screen. What he just said. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put. Hey, it's gonna be on the right. It's gonna be on the right or on the left. So if he does not have money to provide for his girlfriend, he needs to be working on himself and building. His girlfriend, y'all just say so what y'all just start talking. Like what you mean, his girlfriend? He should not be talking to anybody if he's broke. He needs to be working on himself. She shouldn't be on no date. It's as simple as that, bro. I'm, I'm gonna put. I provide for her kids before he's in that role in her life, and get mad because he doesn't want to. Now, if he gives out of the kindness of his heart, I salute him. That is cool. But if he's going on a date, he's going on a date to get to know you, not to get community service hours. So if times are that hard for you, then you need to either. Ask him ahead of time to give him the opportunity to say yay or nay before he goes on a date with you. Or just eat breadsticks and, and that food that he pays for for you. You need to get that in a to-go box and take it home to your kids. But the last thing you need to do is be sitting screaming entitlement by catching the attitude because he won't provide for your kids. Because I'm going to tell you something. Entitlement to a man is what broke is to y'all women. It's a huge turnoff. You know, but what really frustrates me about this whole situation is not necessarily the situation itself, but a lot of the feedback and women trying to justify this and apparently had the same mindset of this woman who was asking for this man to buy her kids food. Because these are the types of experiences that a lot of single moms get painted with a broad brush. Didn't I just say she had to be single mom? She had to be single mom. Didn't I just did it? Did I did I not just say she has to be a single mom? Did I did I just say that? Did I not just say that? Did I not just say that? But check this out. Let me calm down. I'm, I'm hurting my my legs, slapping it that hard. But check this out, bro. Um, I'm going to keep it lit, bro. Uh, Like I said, it goes back to how you ask me. If we're on a date with the kids, and I'm already kind of feeling you, it, might, it may or not be a mistake. I'm at a point where I don't care about, like, if I'm 27 years old, I'm, like, caring about paying paying for food on a date. Like, things of that nature, like, I'm not about to go half and half with you. I'm like, I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. If I already, especially if I kind of, but if I'm getting to know your kids, I kind of don't want to do the step daddy role. I'm keeping it, I'm going to keep it lit. But if I, if that, end, if I end up going down that avenue, that road, which I kind of don't want to, or really, yeah, I'm not really trying to, I'm not trying to do that. I'm not going to lie to you. But it's like, I probably, I'm going to keep it lit because the kids is there. I kind of know what time it is already. I'm going to, I'm going I'm to test her. Here, wait, wait her hands the bill. Okay. 
Okay. She pull out her uh she, where, my, where is my wallet at? She pulls out her wallet. Uh, nah, I got it, baby. I got it. I got it. Nah, it's good. It's good. It's good. Yo, hey, kids, y'all want some dessert? All right, cool. You know, hey, hey, wait a minute. You know, he gonna be looking at me like, no tip. Nah, no tip, bro. You, you, you didn't. You, you didn't do a good job today. <laughs> you, no, no, don't look at me for a tip. I might have actually gave you. With, I might have actually was gonna tip you until you looked at me expecting for one. You see what I'm saying? It goes back to the expect the expectations. You get you get me? So no. That's how that. Now my mouse don't want to work. Under, you know, and people thinking that they just out to use them and get something. But I personally know single moms who have way too much sense and dignity to be asking a man to provide. Shout out! And I ain't gonna lie, I take that back. Forgive me. There are a lot of str like when I say see, I really gotta just watch what I say. Like there's a lot of single mothers out there doing their thing. Cause to some, cause some dads don't want to do their job, you get me, and that's terrible. A lot of single moms. The reason I said she must be a single mom, she's probably a single mom that has that that the kid's dad is in her life, but the kid's dad is just not with her for that reason. See, that's the thing. When it's a single mom, check check me out. Single mom for one of two things: abandonment by the by the deadbeat dad, or I don't respect no man that don't take care of his kids for one. Um, abandonment by the deadbeat dad or the dad is involved kids just take well off kids well off involved with his kids love his, love his kids there for the kids and all but he's just not there for you he don't mess with you and there's a reason he don't mess with you there's probably a reason you might not like him you might have did some stuff you know man, we ain't perfect we, we, we mess up a lot so do y'all though but he might there might be just specific reason why he not with you and that's where that's why i said that the single moms that have the the the, 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 the one not or obviously not all of it don't be that person that says i know such and such obviously not every per it's the billions of people on the planet bro relax but the ones that are with them at least from what i've seen there's a reason why i, I, I ain't cool with her the bitter ones i mean nah you ain't you you ain't good with them bro let me know what you think, man. Let me know if I'm tripping. I'll let y'all later. Before we wrap it up, like I said, me, what I have done it, uh, I'm too smart to kind of be in this position, in my opinion. And, and I'm not trying to toot my own horn or anything or jump or or, 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 or have my head is have big give myself the big head. I just feel like if, if you had to bring your kids with me on the date, like our, what date is this? It's the first date? I don't know. Let's just say it's the first day. If you have to bring your kids with me, I'm gonna assume your priorities aren't good. Like you don't have a set. Okay, I could I could drop the kids off here, or things like that. When we start grooving, when we start getting warm, you know, you can bring the kids. I do what I do. Some guys might look at me like I'm retarded paying for another woman's kid. Like I said, I don't even plan, and I. I'm not even plan to be in this situation whatsoever. I'm not trying to do the stepdaddy thing. You feel me? But if if that's what but if that happens that happens that happens that happens so let's just say for the sake of argument when we start getting warm, warm grooving together yeah bring it like I, yeah, bring, you know you know bring bring bring, bring little tanya bring little just bring you know bring i can't think of no guy a dude name uh bring little chris, bring, bring bring chris you know bring uh you know bring 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 Javion, whatever his name, I said, you know, I'm just thinking, you know, bring, bring, bring him, you know, let's go. I said Javion, and I, and I know it's Javion, oh my gosh. But, you know, bring him, you know, feel me? And I see you trying to pay, nah, I got it, you know, we good, we rocking, we good. But that's the end of this, though, bro, in my opinion, uh, no, he's not wrong. But could he have handled it different? Uh... That's a for y'all. Hey, flood the comment section up. You know, flood the comment section up and tell me what y'all think. In my opinion, no, he's not wrong because you should not be you should not be asking somebody to take care of your kids. But you got to get your priorities straight. But if it was me, I wouldn't be in this position. I make sure we we we. If I'm ever in a position where I'm playing, where I'm talking to a girl with kids or a woman with kids, I'm gonna make sure 
I'm gonna make sure we grooving before I even think about you know that's a big step because I'm not gonna ask her for, if I have because I'm not gonna ask her for pay for my kids. If you a man asking her to pay for your kids, you you you, you no, you're not. You, what are you doing? <laughs> but that's the end of it. Like, comment, subscribe. We almost at 200 subscribers. We have 163 subscribers. I gained like I was at 149 like a week ago. Let's keep going up, and that's the end of this, bro. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe, and we out.